Hey guys, good morning. So it's currently Monday morning. Just wanted to get over here and give y'all an update. It's 8.08. My appointment's at 8.20, so I gotta head out. But we are in early labor, y'all. Morning. <laughs> We're in early labor. Um, my contractions have been about 10 minutes apart since yesterday consistently. Um, I haven't gone to the hospital because I can still talk through them. Um, so... And I'm trying to see if they get closer together. But then this morning, I used the bathroom and my huge mucus plug came out, which I took a picture. I'd show you guys, but no. look, I'm a nurse, okay? Nurses find things like that very interesting. And there's a lot of people posting pictures of the mucus plug. Let me know down below if y'all want me to show y'all my mucus plug because it's so freaking nasty and cool. Like, it's huge and it's so cool. I'll show y'all because the body is amazing what it does. Like, it's amazing. So, all my fellow nurses, I know y'all want to see it. Just comment if you guys want to see it. <laughs> comment. We'll put it in the next video. But we're in labor, guys. I'm going to the hospital now. Well, not the hospital. My doctor right now. And I'm out of breath. We're going to do the... What are we doing? I'm out of breath. Um, the membrane sweep. Yeah. So, I was already like one, one and a half centimeters dilated on Saturday when we went to the hospital, which that video should be up first. Um, they did a check because I had a lot of leakage and I wanted to make sure it wasn't my water that broke, which it wasn't. But I am one centimeter dilated, 60% in face, and my cervix was already thinning. So, I'm pretty sure I'm even more dilated now. So, we'll find out. I'll let you guys know. And they're going to do this membrane sweep, but it makes some ass to the hospital because I'm, I'm still having a contraction right now. Anyway, here, you want to say anything? Are you excited? Every time I look around the corner, he's like around the corner, like <laughs> looking like a little kid. He <laughs> yeah, so cool when he's starting to get a little giddy. He's yeah, excited. I know he's giddy. Yeah, I'm just excited, you know. Mm -hmm. Here, talk to him real quick. So I'm excited wondering. to see my daughter. that has been well, almost good. 10 months now. So, you know, just excited to see her. Um, of course, all of us praying for a safe delivery yeah. for London. And... You know, just can't wait. Just can't wait to meet her in person. Because mm -hmm. I've, I've met her before, so just not in person. You met her in your dream. Everything. Don't worry about it. Everything. What you mean? You met her before? Everything. Let me find out. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just waiting you know, I met her in my dream. to meet her in person. Yeah, I told her I, I, dreamt, I dreamt of her as well. Yeah. So we're just waiting, you know. Wait, what are you gonna do if they say I need to go to the hospital? You're gonna have to get off work. Yeah, I'm just gonna um text 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 my oh. manager and let and let her know that look labor starts. Got to go. But guys, put the attention onto the swing. Man, put look, the look. To the swing. What look. did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Guys, no, ain't the no swing. Guys. The swing is not important right now. That's it's not. That's important. not. That's that's not important right now. Okay. It is. Babe. No, that's not important right now. Well, that's not imp that's not important right now. We have all important stuff ready, so all we need to do is get London here safely, and then we put up the swing. Uh, see y'all, he's so laid back. But if it ain't, it ain't for me, we won't get nothing done. Man, stop. Here, this. So see, we uh, we we'll pack our blankets. Bags are already in the car. Car seat, you gotta move to the car. And then, guys, she wanted to give me this little tiny blanket. I'm like, who are you giving me that little tiny blanket? <laughs> Man. Listen. So. Oh, contraction. I'm contraction. very excited, guys. She's having another contraction. Ooh, I'm very it's excited happening. to meet my daughter. Ooh, I can't wait to meet her. We'll get on here. We'll get on here. I'm driving home, and I'll give y'all an update before he gets the update. No, I have to call him first. Oh, you better. <laughs> you better. <laughs> All right, I gotta be there in like two minutes. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, it's a contraction, babe. This this has never gone on this long. Cause remember, it always happened, but then it stops mm -hmm. completely. This has been going on for like twenty four hours now. I told you, you're gonna have her by Wednesday. No, I'm gonna have her by tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I say by Wednesday, guys. You said when? Today or tomorrow. <sighs> okay. Mm, that orange juice tastes so good. I know it's cold. Thank you some more. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we'll get on here in a little bit, y'all. Again, comment down below if y'all want to see my mucus plug. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, guys, I'm driving Babe's car. Don't never see me in his car. I'm on, you can see me tripping. I'm gonna start driving his car because I like sitting up in his unique. Uh, y'all, it's 8 19. I'm supposed to be there at 8 20. I'm about to be like 10 minutes late, but it's okay. I'm gonna check in on my phone. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Y'all, okay, comment down below if y'all think she's coming today, tomorrow. He says Wednesday. I don't think she's gonna make it to Wednesday. I'm 39 weeks today. Uh uh. I don't think we're gonna make it to Wednesday. But I'm so excited and nervous and like uh, I slept as, I slept a lot during my pregnancy, so uh, it's about to be real. Go, go, go. So Oh my goodness i'm so nervous but i'm relaxed very relaxed guys a lot of y'all telling me to relax i'm very relaxed i'm just giddy and excited and like don't know what's gonna happen but got people praying we're praying i know god can get us through we're gonna get her here safely and yeah it's happening i can't believe i'm in labor right now I'm literally having contractions, but I had such bad period cramps growing up. I've learned how to deal with that pain. So I think I'm just dealing with the pain better um, than one would normally do. But I don't want to talk because I know they're going to get way more intense and it's probably going to kick my ass later. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Let me hurry up and get here. All right, I'll talk to you in a minute. Y'all, I'm so freaking annoyed. So I got the days mixed up again. I don't know what's going on. I could have sworn they said this Monday, this Monday, as in today, to come in on my 39 weeks. Why would they not see me at my 39 weeks? Why would they see me at my 40 week? But they saying that my next appointment is until December 28th. So that's my due date. That's when I'm 40 weeks. So whoever scheduled me, this freaking woman, she scheduled me for my 40 weeks. So I'm not being seen for my 39 weeks. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, I was just seen on the 18th, but I was at the end of my 38 weeks. So, I, I don't know. So, I may not be getting the membrane sweep, but which is fine, because it's fine. Looks like I'm progressing on my own anyway. But this is annoying. God, this is so annoying. Okay, let me figure this out. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Okay, so I just spoke to the nurse and the midwife here. They're advising me to go ahead and go into the hospital, because... Um, they think I'm in labor. Um, my contractions, of course, 10 minutes apart and my lost my mucus plug this morning. So, and I just called the hospital, Tampa General Hospital, and they're saying that, yeah, I need to go ahead and come in. Um, I just thought that I should wait until they're more intense, but they said everybody labors differently. Some people can handle pain, which I can, um, over others. So you just, uh, they say, you, I don't know. They just say that you rather... I'd rather you come in now and, you know, they send you home, which I don't want to be sent home again because I was just there on Saturday. Um, then me just wait and risk something happening. So I'm having a contraction right now. Okay. 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 Yeah. So we're going to pack. Uh, okay. I'm having a contraction. Yeah. Cause they've been consistent for like about 24 hours now. Oh, I can just handle the pain, so. Oof. All right, y'all, so I think we're going to go to the hospital. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Oof. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all, so I'm back at the house. Oh, I'm having contractions. I'm timing them. I'm officially in labor. <clears throat> I'm just trying to eat something, a snack. They're about... They were 10 minutes apart. Now they're going down to nine minutes apart, eight minutes apart. Now they're like seven and a half minutes apart. So I'm just bouncing on my ball, <sighs> trying to cook these egg rolls. I'm about to do a little soft makeup look. We're charging our cameras and iPhones and everything. So we'll have everything before we go. But I'm just trying to labor at home as long as I possibly can. How you feeling, Papa Bear? 
Good. Ready for baby London to get here. Mm hmm. Can't get off work. Mm hmm. About to happen, y'all. Ready. <laughs> hey, good morning once more, guys. Um, so we're just taking a walk. So, um, trying to get this dilation further along so that, um, they don't um, turn us, turn us um, back. Don't go to the hospital. Send us home. So I'm just trying to, you know, have her get to at least three centimeter. How do I know that she's at three centimeter? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just hoping for the best. Okay. Was at one and a half on Saturday. Yeah. So Saturday, Saturday, um, she was um, one and a half centimeter. Yeah, sixty percent of face, which is good. She said my service is getting nice and soft and stretch. So mm -hmm. more than halfway the face. So I don't tell them where we are right now, especially with all the contractions. I haven't had these contractions since one o'clock yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. So. So, just trying to get her to walk and get this dilation going. And then we are headed to the hospital. Babe, mm -hmm. we ain't got no snacks packed. What are you going to have? I'm going to eat your popcorn. I'm going to eat your popcorn. Um, yeah, I have Oreos. Oh, yeah, you're going to bring those? Yeah. Um, you, know, you know, I'm not going to eat any candy, but um, I'll find snack. I'll find snack. Yeah, they don't, they don't feed. They don't feed me, guys. They don't feed they me. They do feed them. They don't care about. They don't. They don't, they don't care about fathers. They don't. They, they don't. They don't. So uh, I have to pack um, snacks when it's hunger hits. I have something to eat. Everyone. Okay, guys. She's on a con uh, contraction, so I'm gonna. Uh, Stop the video right now. Alright guys, we are heading to the hospital now. Of course the car seat's not set up and they can't even fit behind him. Like how are you gonna drive comfortably? Like the car seat could never be behind you, it has to be behind a passenger. See what I'm saying? Tom. London to, to when the first impression will last, okay? She needs to, <laughs> she needs to see her dad in good shape, dress all good so she can, you know, take after me. Of course, you dress nice, baby. Just beautiful, always. Just lovely. But I'm just saying, after her present, okay? Whatever. Mm. Whatever. Alright, I gotta keep time with these contractions, y'all. I'll catch on a little bit. So I'm in triage right now. I'm waiting on the midwife to get here. They're about to check me, my dilation, see how far I am. So cross fingers, we are fully, you know, dilated enough to stay. If not, we will let you guys know what they decide to do. All right, peace. Hey guys, good evening. So I just want to get on here and do a quick update. We're back at the house. It's about 7:45 in the evening. Um, I'm still labor. I'm still in, I'm still having contractions. They're pretty consistent, but they're they're not intense. Um, they're not five minutes apart. They are sporadic, but they are getting more intense. They're getting stronger. So I'm just gonna relax these next day or so, a couple days, however long it takes your baby girl to come on, and I'm just going to let my body do what it's going to do. Um, the rain is in bed sleeping right now, so I guess he was really tired, so I'm going to let him sleep. Um, I'm about to take a shower, take his makeup off, relax, 
Um, I just finished editing a vlog. Yes, uh, so y'all know I love y'all because in the midst of me in labor, I'm still editing content and posting for y'all because I just want to get all this content out for y'all to watch. Um, that's leading up to my labor and delivery or that's gonna lead up to my labor and delivery. So I love y'all. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I'm gonna go ahead and end it for tonight and I will get on here tomorrow or in the middle of the night depending on what's happening down here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and relax and then I'm gonna post this video, which is Vlogmas day number 21. Um, and then yeah, I'll check in and keep y'all posted like I said I would, all right? Love y'all. Bye. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Breathe, breathe. All this breathing is making my lips even more ashy. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's, oh. It's okay. Oh. Come on, deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Oh. Good morning, guys. Oh. Uh, just to give you guys an update. Um, it's now 4.30 in the morning. Misha has been having contractions since uh, 1 a.m. this morning. Um, they're consistent. They're like um, probably um, eight minutes, eight minutes apart. You know, they're like six minutes, seven minutes. Yeah, five, six, seven minutes and apart. Five minutes apart and then eight. So they're like between five and eight minutes apart. So, oh. Uh, they hurt. They hurt now. Yeah. Oh so my god. They're they uh, they're hurting really bad. So she's just um, you know, breathing through it, trying to labor as long as possible at home. As the doctor um tells us to do yesterday at, at the hospital. So she says she wants some five minutes apart. Yeah. And so. intense, which they are intense. So we're trying to get them down to like four or five minutes apart before um, we try and make it back to the hospital. So these contractions are like worse than um, yesterday, which is a good sign. Um, means that um, she's actually, you know, approaching approaching um labor right active labor yeah yeah she's actually approaching active labor so <clears throat> so i got my rest early um yeah, last night early. yeah i went to sleep like seven probably seven thirty. i went to sleep you never do that i know i was expecting i was expecting this to happen so i got my beauty rest early oh, so now God. so now i'm up so I'm up with both my babies. 
Oh, man. <sighs> so, uh, we'll keep you guys uh, updates or updated as we go along. So, peace. you guys between contractions so here's an update so I'm two centimeter dilated they won't be more dilated so they're gonna have me wait for two hours um they told me to walk around do squats do these um as long as I can to try to get the dilation to progress if they don't progress they're probably gonna send me home again which I can't I can't go home with this pain I can't go home with this pain so Yesterday I was at one centimeter, today I'm at two centimeters. So hopefully, and I just wiped again, there's more bloody show. So, and these contractions are a minute, two minutes apart. So, hopefully we can get her down. <sighs> so I'll keep you guys posted. All right. All right guys, as you can see, based on my clothes, I'm getting sent home yet again. So I am now at three centimeters dilated, which I thought three to four centimeters you can get admitted, but no, they want you at six centimeters before they would admit me. So I have to go home and labor some more in more agony and pain 
till I get dilated three more centimeters just to come back here. I'm pissed. I'm tired. I'm in pain. I'm hurting. I just don't understand because I've seen people get admitted for waiting between three and four centimeters. And I don't know why I have to wait till six centimeters. Like, how am I going to get my epidural in time if I wait till six centimeters? Huh? And he talking about I may have to have a natural birth. I'm not feeling that ring of fire. I'm not doing it. That's not going to happen. So, y'all, this is the update, okay? It's just going to be me more crying, pain when I get home, trying to labor some more. And then we'll probably be back here, what, tonight or tomorrow? Mm hmm it just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. I went from one to three centimeters within the past, what, day and a half? Day. Day? Mm hmm Yeah. And it's just, I don't know. Anyway, I'll update y'all later. You got anything to say? No, you said it. You upset it all. Update. Um, we're heading back to the hospital for the fourth time. Um, she's in, she's in um, excruciating pain. So um, gonna go back and put up the check to see if she's at um, at six centimeter dilated, so they can go ahead and admit her and give her give her um, the epidural. So. Um, just an update. Keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, she has been having um, non-stop uh, contractions, and they're super painful. So, as I said, hopefully she's um, further along in terms of dilation. Okay guys, just giving you another update. Um they're being sent home for the fourth time. Um she's still three centimeter dilated. Um so she's not into active labors yet. Um they did give her some pain meds. Some morphine uh, shots. Some morph uh, well a morphine shot so she can at least get some rest. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how best um, that works out. Baby, your lash is falling. <laughs> I 
you get to that. Okay. Okay, so. As you can see, I'm wheeling her out on a wheelchair after the morphine shot. As I said, we'll keep you guys posted. Pray for us. to get me prepped for my epidural. They already did the COVID test and just wait on the results for that. Um, but yeah, baby should be coming today. Like Lorraine said, it was gonna be a Wednesday. He's always right. <laughs> anyway, I'll fill you guys in later. Thank you so much. All right. I'm gonna eat a lot of these. <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome to you guys' day. Everybody's birthday today. Yeah. Jeez, in 2020, <laughs> it's not stopping. It like either has some really, really great stuff or really, really bad, bad stuff. stuff. Yeah. So I'm glad you guys are bringing the good stuff. <laughs> uh, boy or girl? Girl. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. my gosh, you got your gun yet? <laughs> a long time ago. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A little. Uh, Bad boys routine when, when whenever whomever show up. Yep. Update. Sorry, I look like crazy. I had a crazy babe. I think I'm about to poop. My legs looking like this. I'm farting. I think I'm a poop. It's 12:22 right now. We were sleeping for the last couple hours because we needed it, y'all. I labored for 72 hours at home. I had to get the six centimeters. It was excruciating pain excruciating but COVID test came back negative um, baby's doing good when I got here I was six centimeters dilated they haven't checked me yet they're probably going to check me again and then break my water um, I'm on clear liquid diet of course I can't eat anything so they're about to bring me like broth or something I don't know but <sighs> baby's going to show our room here and show them room Okay guys, so this is um, the room. We have, we have a nice um, window view, or ocean view. You can see the ocean, um, the ocean. So I guess this is where, I guess this is where I'm supposed to rest. Um, um, that's our luggage. Baby food is here. <laughs> um, this is where London is gonna go when she's born. That's the entrance. Um, this is the nurse station. Um, bathroom. Thank you. 
Yeah. 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 So let's see um, what I yours look like, tea. baby. I got a broth, I got jello, and I got iced tea. Okay. Can I take this off? Or? Mm. It's hot? Sorry about that, my blood pressure dropped again. So the CRN, they had to come in and give me epinephrine and they had to lower my epidural dose because I think that's what's causing my blood pressure to go down, I'm just sensitive to it. So they just did that because I started vomiting. Um, so now I'm just finishing my food. Um, the midwife came in and she just broke my water because now I'm at seven centimeters and it's 12.45 p.m. right now. Um, and she's pretty much just wanting things to progress a little bit more. So hopefully breaking the water will do that. Um, so she's going to monitor me for the next hour. And then if that doesn't get things going, because apparently once you get to six, it's supposed to, like, you're supposed to easily go from six to eight or to ten. Um, then they're going to do the Pitocin. But, yeah. So I'm going to finish eating. They've got his food over there. He's eating try to make do with what <laughs> the big gave and y'all know how he is. Alright, I'll get on here later. Bye. Hey guys, so just checking in. It's 3.33. Just, we just woke up again. Um, Feeling a lot of pressure in my butt when I had a poop. So that could mean that my is getting really, really low and I'm gonna be pushing soon. So I'm trying to eat as much as I can between jello and ice cups and ice chips while he eats Doritos in front of my face. But that's okay, because I'm sure he'll take me to like a really good dinner <laughs> sometime after. But yeah, so I'm just chilling. They have my leg up. They moved me again to the um, right side. Um, you know, for baby positioning. But other than that, everything is going pretty good now. Considering how the beginning started off. Because, oh my gosh. But yeah. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Okay, guys. So Misha is trying her best to, you know, do a little something putting on some makeup before London gets here or before it's time to push. So, you know, she's just making it work. Doing you know what she do best. Hope she doesn't sweat it off while I was pushing. <laughs> okay, what do, you, what do you need me to help? What do you need me to help you grab, baby girl? I need you to grab um, a black pencil. Okay, skinny put it right black here. Skinny black pencil. Okay. Yeah. Skinny black this pencil. Has Nope, that's not it. She said skinny. Skinny. No, but I think it's not. Okay. She said that one will work for now. Uh, I'm still looking for the skinny one. Okay, there it is. This should be it. Yes. There you go.
Ain't no way for. Okay guys, so this is the end product. <laughs> That's what I can do right now. Alright y'all, so I don't look like I don't want to scare my baby. <laughs> How come I can't wait to watch? You know, like more people? Because they're trying to let the epidural, you know, spread all over your body. She said it was the baby positioning. Yeah, and the baby positioning as well. Because remember, she was like, her back was here, and I need her back to face, it, to lean against her, her tummy. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, as you can see, um, the table is already prepped for delivery. Um, uh, they have London um, diapers here. Um, it's the table that um, the doc is going to use. So. Whatever she does best. Um, and currently, Misha is laying um, in this position, trying to get London to turn facing down. Right now, she's facing, um, they call it sunny side up. So, they're trying to take, um, get her to face down. Um, Misha is trying to get some rest right now. Currently, she's at 8 centimeter dilated. Um, 90% e-face and one which means which we need London to be at a zero in order for her to start pushing and also for her to get to 10 centimeter um, dilated so um, that's just an update um, for you guys um, um, they also gave her something um, so what is it called? Epitosa? Pitoso? Yeah, Pitoso to um or Pitocin to help with dilation, right? And contraction. So um you know, just to um push things push things um further along. So um pretty much we're just waiting we're just waiting um for her to um, get the ten centimeters and um and for London to basically um face it down. Then we can start the process of pushing so London can grace us with her presence. 
so as I said I'll keep you guys updated um, talk to you guys later peace
I'll be 